I'm Anil Kumar and here is a very interesting question to find area of a triangle. The question is, determine the area of a triangle that encloses a circle of radius r as shown in the figure. So what we have here is an equilateral triangle in which we have a circle. Now from the figure it doesn't really look like an equilateral triangle but this is best I could draw. Now we need to find the area of the triangle and what we are given here is that the radius of the circle is r. How are you going to find it? Now to find area of a triangle what we need to do is we need to find base and the height. Uh, well let us draw a perpendicular from the vertex and say that is the perpendicular to the base from the vertex. So that gives you the height and base is right there. So what we will do is we'll just label our diagram so that we can uh, figure out how to find let's say A, B, C is the given triangle and C, D is the perpendicular. Okay. So we have C, D as the perpendicular or the altitude of the given triangle. What we are also given here is that it has radius of R. So let's say this is the center. In that case this side, let's say O is the center, okay, then OD is R for us. So let me label this as R and for the time being I'll just join OD with a line and that OD is the radius of the given circle. Now how can we find the area of the triangle? Now area of a triangle ABC is actually equals to half base which is AB times height which is CD. That is what it is. So the construction which we have done here is we have dropped a perpendicular. So we have a per altitude CD right on AB on AB. Now how to find relation between R base and the height? That is the real question. To find that what we can do is we can connect the center with the vertex A and then we have a triangle AOD which is a right triangle in which one of the sides is known to us. Since one of the sides is known to us we can actually solve this triangle. Correct? So let's solve the triangle AOD. Okay. So let's solve the triangle AOD. Solve really means we find all the lengths and angles for this particular triangle. Now angles are kind of easy since it's an equilateral triangle. We are assuming all it is since one circle. You look from any angle it has to be the same thing, right? So we know that the angle at each vertex is 60 degrees. Correct? And from the symmetry if I join this line then this angle is going to be 30 degrees. Perfect. So we have a right triangle which has 30 degrees and that is the triangle AOD. Now in this particular triangle, let us find AD and AO. Okay, so we'll find both of them. Okay, that's fine. How do we find AD? To find AD, we can use tan ratio since we know opposite and adjacent side. So we can say tan of 30 degrees is equals to opposite side R divided by AD, right? So AD is equals to R divided by tan of 30 degrees. So we can calculate this. Now to find AO, that is the hypotenuse, we need to use sine, correct? So we'll say sine of 30 degrees is equal to R over AO, correct? So AO is equals to R divided by sine of 30 degrees. Okay. Now to find sine of 30 degrees and tan of 30 degrees, we have two options. So those of you who know special triangle, they can use the special triangle, which I'm drawing here, 60, 30, 90, correct? And find the ratios using special triangle. In the special triangle, as you know, the sides, this angle is 30 for us right and that is 60, 30, 60, 90 triangle. The side ratio is 1, 2 and square root of 3. 
So you can use special triangle or you can use your calculator. Either way, correct? You can find the answer, right? So let's let's use special triangle for the time being. In that case, tan of 30 degrees is what? Tan of 30 degrees is 1 over square root 3, right? So from here, we can get AD, which is equals to R divided by tan of 30 is 1 over square root 3. So 1 over square root 3 or square root 3 times R, correct? As far as AO is concerned, which is R divided by sin 30. Now, sin 30 is opposite over hypotenuse. So, I could write this as R divided by 1 over 2 or is equals to 2 times R. So, AO is equals to 2 times R. Do you get the idea? And AD is square root 3 times R. Correct? So, if AD is square root 3 times R, DB is also square root 3 three times r. Perfect. So from here we know what is AD equals to. So let us write down what AD is equals to. AD equals to 2 times I mean AB we know AD. AB A to B is 2 times A to D right. So length of AB is 2 times A to D. That means 2 times square root 3 times r. Perfect. So that is the base. Let me just highlight this. This is a very complicated question and therefore I'm taking my time to really find the way of solving and making you understand at the same time. Now second part is the height. So the height is CD. So we say CD is equals to CO plus OD, right? It is CO plus OD, right? So C2O. Now, C2O should also be equal to 2R, correct? Since this A2O is CO, right? Now, these two sides are equal. Is that okay? Right. It doesn't look like, but it is really equal. Okay. So, CO is same as AO. So, we can write, we'll go one more step. AO plus OD. And AO is 2R. So, it is 2, two times R plus OD, which is R, right? So when you add, you get 3 times R. So the height of this triangle is 3R. Do you get the idea? So CD is the height of the triangle, which is 3R, correct? So we get both the things. So altitude CD here, let me write down in red now. CD is equals to 3 times R and AB we found as AB is equals to 2 times square root 3 times R. Do you get the idea? So we get both the things. Now we can find area of triangle. So it's area of triangle ABC is equal to half of, as we wrote, AB. So AB is 2 times square root 3 times R times CD, which is 3R times 3. Is it okay? So you can simplify this. Let me simplify. So 2 and 2 cancel out. So we get 3 square root 3. R times R is R square. And the units will be whatever units are for the R. So we'll write unit square, square for the time being. Correct? So that gives us the accurate answer and that is the exact value of the answer. We'll say answer that area of the triangle ABC is equals to 3 square root 3 R square unit square. So that is the way to solve this question. Go through it once again and we'll have an application question based on this particular problem. I hope you enjoyed the solution. You can subscribe to my video and learn a lot. Thank you and all the best.